Welcome to Tying Michigan's Best Trout Flies. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on the easiest method that I've ever found to apply a dubbing to the thread and uh, then to the hook. Putting it on the thread is the key part. Wrapping it on the hook, there's not much to that. But I've noticed uh, a, a lot of different people doing dubbing and what, the, what I see is a tendency when the dubbing is applied to use these two fingers. Well, and there's nothing wrong with that because it works, but there's a method that I'm going to show you here. It's a very simple that adds a lot of pressure and it makes it quicker and adds integrity to the to the dubbing. So let's get some dubbing, and uh, we'll just pull enough off for for a, for a demo and apply it to the to the thread. We're not going to try to make a fly here, but lay it on the thread like this. Now normally you'll watch and people will be doing this, but if you take this finger and put it behind your forefinger, now start your dubbing, you get tremendous pressure on your dubbing and it makes it go a whole lot faster. Just like that. So to secure it and to gain some speed, just add a little bit of pressure. It's just the finger behind the other one. And so uh, that's the best way that I've found to make uh, dubbing quick and secure. Uh, we're going to take a minute now with uh, and take this hook off. And I'm going to show you another way to make a simple uh, dubbing loop. I'm going to put another hook in and run our thread down. And uh, I don't use too many doubling loops myself, but if I do, I never use a tool. That's what I wanted to show you, especially with this demonstration. Uh, an effective way to do a dubbing loop without having to use a tool. It's quick and it's effective both. So uh, to put the, the dubbing on, you'll, you'll add... Uh, maybe twice what you would normally use. We we'll just put on a, a pretty good bunch of dubbing there, like this, and just put it on loosely, loosely, right? Okay, so you're, you're talking about, we're talking about loop, well, where's the loop? I'm gonna make it right now. Just draw your thread down, make a loop like this, and secure it on the shank. So now you've made your dubbing loop, but what you've done is you put the dubbing on first. Normally when you see dubbing loops, then they insert the dubbing in the middle. This is the simplest way to do it, and you don't need a tool. Now all we have to do to secure this dubbing is to take it and twist it at the base. You can do that with your hands, just like that. Now you've got your dubbing twisted on securely, and you can wrap it on. No dubbing tool needed. A simple, effective dubbing loop that makes your dubbing very secure. Nothing to it. No tool needed. Save that money. Use your hands. Just like that. There you go. That's a demo of the simplest dubbing loop that I know of. Thanks for watching and we'll see you the next time.